today I am going to do an updated morning skincare routine. My routine's changed quite a lot recently, so I just thought I'd jump on you and tell you what's working and what's not. So leave a like, comment what you want to see, subscribe, and let's just get on to it. So I've just cleansed my face with the Soap and Glory um, Vitamin C Facial Wash. This is amazing. I've been using this for such a long time and jumping back back and forth between this and other things. But I always go back to this because it is an absolute holy grail. I just use this just with my fingers, massage it in for about a minute and just wash it off with warm water. So the next I'm going to tone, I'm going to use the Pixie Glow Tonic. Um, I've been using this for about, I would say about two weeks. Um, so I just put it on a cot pad. And you know what? I'm loving it at the moment. Um, it's got obviously glycolic acid in it, which is going to help flush all those dead skin cells away to leave you looking glowy and radiant, perfect for the summer. Now that we're going to have one this year because we are all stuck inside in a lockdown, but we can glow from the house, it's fine. Okay, so next I go in with an essence. So the purpose of an essence is it's kind of like a toner, but it preps your skin ready. Um, the absorption of the next product you use is going to be maximised. So I use this one from um, B Cosmetics. I think you can get this in Superdrug. Um, this is just it's just called Essence Lotion for all skin types. So all I do is put a little bit on my hand, ignore the orange, and then just rub it in and just press into the skin. Alexa. So now I'm going to go in with my serums. Those of you who watched my last skincare video know I absolutely love this. I bought the full size. This is the Paula's Choice Skin Balancing Super Antioxidant Concentrate Serum. This is my daily retinol. Usually you're supposed to use a retinol at night, um, but this is a daytime retinol, which I love that much. Put it into my fingertips and put it all over the skin. Next, the total must for summer is some self tan. This is the Saint Tropez Self Tan Purity Vitamins. It has vitamin C and D, and obviously has the gradual tan aspect. So just take one pump. Smells like, like just nice peachy, watermelony niceness. So I just roll that all over my face. And I quickly mention. For my body, my Sunkiss Glow, I use the Garnier Summer Body. Um, this is amazing, but it does stain. Ignore my nails, quarantine nails. Um, so yeah, I use this um, maybe twice a week and I just put it all over. And as you can see, it gives you a bit of a glow. I have been sunbathing too. There's not much else to do in quarantine. So I've been chilling outside, but yeah. Highly recommend. Next, I am going to go in with some eye cream. I am using the Ole Henriksen Banana Bright Eye Cream. Um, there's a lot of dupes for this. Um, it's just like a yellowy kind of cream. Just put it on my ring fingers. Um, dupe wise, I know um, Origins do a kind of dupe. I think it's the Ginseng range. Um, recently makeup revolution has come out with eye creams they do a kind of banana brightening kind of dupe um that's all i can think of right now but yeah but i've been loving this i've seen loads of people rave about it i've always wanted to try it so i did pick it up when i was in new york um i've been loving it ever since for moisturizer i've been using the origins original skin this is the matte moisturizer and has willow herb in it so for those of you who don't know willow herb is like a natural source of salicylic acid so it's great for you know oily blemish acne skin so that's what i've been using take that pop it all over how is lockdown treating everyone I have so much uni work to do and I'm just like, mm, can't be asked. So, that's me. Such a weird time to be living in. Like, it's not something that anyone's ever lived through before. So, it's a bit 
cray cray. So because that moisture doesn't contain its SPF, I'm going to go back in with my trusty Dermalogica SPF from the Medibac range. It is quite pricey to be completely honest. I originally bought this when I was suffering really really bad with my skin um, and it's lasted me ages so. Getting that all over. Don't forget your years. And to finish some lip balm, I'm going to be using the best. This is the Tatcha Camila Gold Spun Lip Balm. Let me open it. It has real um, flax of 24 karat gold. Yes. So. Yes. One last step. My skin is feeling kind of dehydrated and dry at the moment because I have been using a lot of peels and masks. Um, so I'm just going to go in with my Garnier uh, Rose Water Mist. And that's really pretty much all I do in the morning. I know it seems quite extreme with all my serums and my toners and everything but it really has worked my skin has cleared up amazing um looking back at my previous video i had quite a lot of blemishes um yeah right now i'm feeling pretty comfortable with how my skin is looking um yeah so I'm just going to quickly show you a few things that I like to add into my skincare regime where my skin's needing a bit of something extra. First thing is face masks. Love it. Um, this one from Soap and Glory, it's the Radiance Boosting Mask, the Vitamin C Mask. This, I've never, ever, ever come across a mask that leaves my skin so glowy and bright as this one. It's amazing definitely give this one a try out if you're feeling a bit dull a bit lifeless this is your boy quickly mention some of my favorite ordinary things so if you follow me on instagram you would have seen this this is the ordinary aha 30 percent and bha 2 percent peeling lotion it looks like this so this is kind of like um an at-home chemical peel kind of thing so you pop it on you don't leave it on for more than 10 minutes don't do that you want to have a face left um so yeah, you just pop this on, wash off with warm water, and it just, it works kind of like the glycolic acid, but it's got a bit stronger products, and it just completely removes all that dead skin, and just leaves you glowing from within. Um, I also like to use the salicidic when I have the blemishes, I'll just pop a little bit of this on, and we're good to go. And I also like to use the niacinamide 10% and zinc 1%. This is amazing for all skin types. It helps with texture, acne scars, blemishes, wrinkles. It's just the elixir of youth. So check this one out. And then I just want to mention the um, the glow um, wrinkle treatment thing I have. You oh, turn it on and it, it's a red light and you just kind of like pop it onto one area for about three minutes um and you just like move it around your face and the red light then helps with um so red light helps with wrinkles aging collagen protection that kind of stuff um i currently have all the stuff from the salon in my home so i'm lucky enough to have all the good stuff here so i do have my mask too and I do occasionally use the blue light. The blue light then helps with killing the bacteria off the skin, um, fighting acne, all that kind of good stuff. And my mask also does have an orange setting, which is more of like a collagen boosting kind of setting. So I do jump between them. So thank you so much for watching. I hope this was useful. I hope you picked up some new products you want to try out while stuck in quarantine. Let me know what you want to see next. I'm pretty open to do whatever i will leave my instagram down below i have been doing new makeup looks every day just to keep me going to keep you inspired been doing a couple of igtvs don't forget to like subscribe comment and i will see you very soon